Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again today and um, to cook with me. Um, today I will show you um, one of our exclusive um, cooking experience dishes and that's the, um, the beef stroganoff, one of the, the most popular ones and uh, what I especially love about this uh, recipe is that it's also low carb. All right, let's get started. So I brought you a little bit closer to the Thermomix so you can see better what I'm doing here. And uh, if you have a look at the screen, um, imagine this is, this is like the navigation system in your car, which brings you from A to B, only this one brings you from hungry to yummy. So we have the screen here and I can find recipes directly here on my machine because I have direct access via Wi-Fi to the online cookie do. All right, so what I want is just um, bring up the recipe here on my screen. Okay, so here we have it. And if I'm not sure if I've got all the ingredients, I can just scroll here on the screen and find um, all um, the ingredients listed there. Or if I'm pretty sure I have them all, or I've checked for beforehand, I can just go on click and start cooking. All right, in the first step, it asked me to put the Varoma into position. What's a Varoma? I hear you. So this is the Varoma. Um, this UFO shaped um, steaming unit, a steaming basket, as you can see, it's got little holes there on the bottom. That sits it's just right there on top of um, your Thermomix bowl and lid. And um, well, it also comes, well, it comes with a lid and it also comes with a tray. So that gives you an extra layer um, of cooking. We won't need the tray today. All we want um, is the bowl. So coming back to the navigation system. So I have no idea about the recipe, but what it does, it brings up here, for example, the scales automatically. In the first step, it wants me to weigh in uh, the cabbage, uh, which I've already done. So this is how it looks like, okay? Once we've weighed in the cabbage, we're going to set the Varoma aside because we only need that later when uh, we do the cooking. All I need to do is click on next and follow the recipe from there. So in the first step, actually, it asked me to put in four sprigs of flesh, <laughs> flesh, I mean fresh, um, flat leaf parsley, okay? So every time a recipe asks me to um, use the leaves only, um, what I do is I keep keeping the stalks. So, you know, in times where we probably can't access um, fresh herbs um, from the shops anymore, then um, I find them uh, really helpful to have because all of that um, leftovers, um, heads and tails from my vegetables, all of that goes in a Ziploc bag in the freezer. And guess what? That's going to end up in my veggie stock paste. Vegetable stock paste is something we use in a lot of recipes um, for cooking and we absolutely don't want to waste any ingredients. All right, let's chop up that parsley and the machine will tell me to put the lid on top. So I'm doing right that. And uh, in the next step, it has set the timer to three seconds and it wants me to turn the speed selector to speed seven. And that's how it looks like. time um, the Thermomix is done with the mold it'll make that jingling noise and basically lets me let me know that uh, it wants my attention all right let me show you how three seconds chopping parsley in a Thermomix looks like wow isn't that awesome so what I'm gonna do is I'm just scraping that out and putting that aside all right in the next step popping the bowl back in it wants me to add 200 grams of brown onion. So I'm just zeroing that back. So all I'm doing is I just weigh in this, um, the onions and clicking on next. And again, it has set back the, the scales um, uh, automatically to zero and it wants me to weigh in the oil. So I'm doing that. All right. So I don't have to worry about a cup or a quarter of a cup in. Any, any measuring cups at all. Um, and now this is new to the TM6 model. Instead of the measuring cup, 
uh, because we're using some high heat and frying function now, we're going to use the splash guard. So that's a, just uh, a, another type of lid that goes on top of our lid and it, it releases more steam but it also prevents the splatter at the same time. All right, so now what we're going to do next is for three minutes, we're going to use the high heat um, and maximum heat right there, and it's going to saute the onion. So have a look at the arms of the Thermomix. The moment I turn the dial, they automatically close the lid. And listen what the blades are doing. So you could hear they were turning around the onions, just shoveling them around, making sure they're evenly distributed. Right, our three minutes are about to come to an end and et voila, that's the sound it makes. Okay, I can click anywhere, I can touch anywhere on the screen um, to just to hear, to follow the recipe and see what's next. So next step, it wants me to um, put the measuring cup uh, on top, but before we do that, I quickly want to show you how this looks like. All right, so that I beautifully sauteed the onions in there and without being burned. All right, so popping that back on. And uh, now we're going to chop the onions a little bit. It's only three seconds and we're going to speed five. chopped up now but not mushy all right so in the next step it wants me it asked me to weigh in uh, 350 grams of beef fillet steak um, I've cut that into into strips and again it brought up the scales automatically so I don't have to worry about how much that is I'm putting that in so everything gets just on top of the onions and where are we what is it Five, yeah, 370, I reckon that should be fine. And again, putting the splash guard on top because we're gonna brown the, the meat now. And voila, it'll be right back. So now, oh, what you can't have right now is that smell oh my god to die for so the smell of the sauteed onions alone just oh, makes me so hungry and now we have uh, also the juices from the meat um, a little bit of the parsley um, cooking in there and um, yeah I'm so so sorry that you can't um, really um, uh, smell that so that's what happened at the moment uh, inside the bowl so we've sauteed and um, it now asked me to um, just um, scrape down the sides and stir that a little bit around. Okay, and uh, next is we're going to add uh, the, 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 the mushrooms. So you can, you can obviously buy any kind of mushrooms that you like, just to your taste. Um, I had these ones already pre-cut in slices, uh, but you can buy the um, normal ones and just cut them into quarters really as you prefer um, if you don't like mushrooms feel free to um, replace them with other vegetables to that you like the next ingredient is 50 grams of tomato paste mm, we have a hundred grams of white wine now um, if you prefer to cook um, without alcohol, you could also do that. Just replace that with a little bit more um, of your stock. And now we're using uh, the, the recipe says meat stock paste, but I prefer uh, the vegetable stock paste. Um, a very easy recipes, uh, recipe. And um, I um, look, I, I always have that in my fridge. Um, it lasts very long, and I use that to use up leftover. Uh, vegetables in. All right, uh, second last step is a tablespoon of ground paprika, adding that to it, and a pinch of salt to taste, a little bit of that, and a pinch of ground pepper. Would you like my uh, automatic meals there? 
and one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. All right, so now you can see from the picture there, it wants us to put the lid on top. Um, and now with all the ingredients in there, so that, that's the mushrooms and all um, the spices that we have. Now, instead of the measuring cup, we just pop our steaming unit, the Veroma there on top and pop the lid on top. And voila, now all we need to do is uh, turn the dial. Um, it's set to 15 minutes on Veroma, which is the steaming temperature, and it goes, it stirs backwards. That means um, we don't want our food to be chopped up uh, in mushy, so that's why we're using the backside of our blades, who are actually blunt, uh, and that's just the stirring. All right, all I need to do is turn the dial and walk away for 15 minutes. All right, so time's almost up and um, yeah, a couple of things that I've done meanwhile. Um, one of them is <laughs> turning on the other thermomix over there. Um, the perks of being a consultant, we can actually earn our thermomixes. So if that would be something you'd be interested in, just reach out to me and have a chat. Uh, definitely something I could help you with. All right, and voila, we're done. Okay, so next thing I'm going to check uh, whether my cabbage on top, my cabbage noodles uh, have been cooked through. Uh, one thing to just be mindful of when we're opening up the Veroma, always open up the lid away from you, otherwise you get a facial, not so good. And um, let me quickly show you how this looks like. So I made a little well there in the middle and they are beautifully cooked, uh, just exactly the way I wanted them. You. So that's a thermo server. What's that? That is a double walled insulated stainless steel wall which has uh, the ability to keep your food either hot or cold for up to two hours. So just transferring that into here and I'd just love to make a little bed of <laughs> the cabbage noodles so where my stroganoff can sit on. And um, now um, what I'm doing next as the recipe is I'm just adding 100 grams of sour cream, sour cream to it. Um, it doesn't have to be sour cream if you're dairy free. Um, feel free to um, make any changes. Oh, that's about it. Um, use um, coconut cream or anything else that you, that you, that you like. Oh, I probably should have shown you. Um, that's the cooked um, beef stroganoff and the mushrooms uh, and, the, and, the, and the tomato paste right in there. Ah, can you hear the other ones also already? Um, and as for recipe, we're just stirring that sour cream through. Alright, so now we've stirred through um, the sour cream and all we do is transfer that and pop that on top of the cabbage, just like that. Oh, and again, that smell, if only you could <laughs> get a little bit of taste of that. And uh, finally, to top that up, we are adding our chopped parsley there on top. Voila. Doesn't that look awesome? Alright, that was about it, what I wanted to show you. So. Today in this dish you have seen um, uh, the high heat function uh, the Thermomix provides. Um, you have seen us using the Veroma, so the steaming function. Uh, we made it all in one dish um, to save un up some time and extra uh, work in the kitchen. This is um, an absolute family favorite meal and it's low carb, uh, so that adds another bonus to it. Um, we sauteed the onions, we cooked, uh, we chopped up um, the onions and we stirred and we mixed. So these are just a couple of um, the functionalities that Thermix has to provide. There is a lot more and I'm going to show you other functions in, uh, in a separate time, in a different time, in a different dish. So I hope you enjoyed this and if you want to learn more about um, how to get a, a Thermix on your kitchen bench, just get in touch. All right, happy to help. Have a good one and see you next time.